Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another class here on the uh, plugins. Uh, we're continuing on here, taking a look at how to configure some of the plugins. This is the class creating your WordPress marketing hub, and uh, today we're going to kind of delve more deeply into the Google Analytics. We covered all the other plugins in the previous video tutorial, and this one we're going to take all by itself. So what you need to do is uh, just go to Google and look for uh, Google Analytics. Um, I'm kind of assuming uh, that you need to sign up for an account. If you have already, then you can bypass this first part. But uh, let's start from the beginning as if you don't even have a Google account. But you do need to do that uh, and sign up for that. So click on uh, Google Accounts, search for that, and then just go up here to uh, this one right here, the sign up. Click on sign up here. And, and then come over to the sign up page. Now I'm already looks like I'm already signed up, signed in. So, uh, but if you need to, uh, let's go ahead as, as if you need to sign up. So click on this sign up now and go through that real quick. Okay, and here's what uh, create an account page looks like. Just go ahead and fill all this out here and then scroll on down and uh, fill this out and you'll be done here. And then click on uh, create my account. What will happen is you'll actually get an email that will uh, come to you where you need to confirm that or verify to completely set up the account. Okay, so then, then uh, you'll be all set there. So let me go back uh, here one screen. Uh, again, you'll, be, you'll get that email so then uh, you can have your account set up. So the next step then is to actually go and get the sign into Google Analytics and get that. So of course the next step now that you have an account with Google, it's the general account. Then just come on back here to uh, the sign into Google Google account here and put in your email and your password. And my password here is thus and so. Click on sign in, and you'll be signing in to uh, the Google Analytics sign up page. Okay, so click on the sign up right here, and then you're going to actually have to go ahead and, and sign up for Google Analytics. And there's a few uh, different forms here to get through, a couple of different pages, okay? So go ahead and fill this out. All right, and then you get to the, the next screen after clicking on continue, and go ahead and put in, put in your name there and then click on continue. And then you come to the terms of service page, click on the yes I agree to the above terms and then go ahead and click on create new account. And finally we come to the tracking instructions, probably just to stick here with the default a single domain you're going to track and then uh, come on down to Oh, uh, number two here is paste this code onto your site. I don't. I believe you don't need to do that right now because you're going to be uh, having this plugin take care of that for you yeah, within WordPress. And then come on down here and click on Save and Finish, and that should be it for you. Okay, that's it. Let me. Uh, okay, there we go. Now this is your Google Analytics page, and what you need here is this right there, the UA number. Okay, that's what we're going to use to paste into the WordPress. Okay, so we didn't have to do all this just to get that number right there. Of course, this is this is the page here. Maybe in a different tutorial we'll go through uh, all this and all the reports you can get and so forth because you do want to use this, and that's that's the purpose of getting this. So uh, let me uh, go on back over to the uh, WordPress uh, admin panel, and we will go ahead on the next step. Okay, so here we are back at the uh, WordPress admin uh, dashboard and come back over here to the settings and under Google Analytics, click on that. And from here, we're going to enter in that UA number. So click on this little button here. It says manually enter U UA code, paste it in there. And whoop, I guess I didn't get it. I'm going to go back and, and grab that. There it is. and then paste it in here. Okay, everything else can be 
left as uh, default, and then update Google Analytics settings. And there you go. Google settings have been updated. So there you go. That's all set. Now if you go back to the plugins <clears throat> home page, you should see that that's disappeared from the top up here, that top banner. Okay, so everything's been uh, configured so far that we have loaded. You're all set here. Uh, we're going to finish up right here with all the plugin stuff. And on the next video, we're going to talk about how to use the plugins and just give a few examples on how to put them into the actual uh, format, into the sidebars as widgets, into your WordPress, and get right on to building some content. This has been Joe Jacobson with Creating Your WordPress Marketing Hub. See you real soon.